Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another fun, fast Tinkercad tutorial. So let's get cracking. Friends, we are going to build a super cool gyro fidget. Start by giving it that name, and let me show you how this works. To build our fidget, we are going to use the wicked cool SimLab connectors. Start by visiting SimLab and grabbing the axle, the slider, and the pivot. We're going to put them all in here. Now we can back up and we can use them. Currently, that's the only way to get our connectors. Friends, we're going to build this with the Wicked Cool Tube. Simply bring it out. Change it to size 30. I'm going to set the walls to 2. I am going to make the sides super smooth. And I'm going to make the bevel. I'm going to make the bevel 2. And I'm going to make it go 5 for the number of bevel segments. And then I'm going to change this to size 4 and press enter. Let's pick a fun color. I'm going to go with blue. And then I want to stand it up. So I look at it from a corner. That way I can see this. Notice 422 and a half stands it up. Or I can do shift rotate and it does 45 degrees each time. When I hit D to drop, it is now up on the work plane. I'm going to raise it up just a little bit higher. And now we want to make it so it stays in the air. We're going to do that with a pivot. Do control D, move your pivot out close. Select them both, do L for a line, make the blue one the boss, and we want center, center, and then I'm gonna move this to the top. But then I'm gonna do control up to even raise it up higher. Now I wanna connect the pivot up to the sky. So notice that one goes up, and then I'm gonna find the orange one and go down below. It didn't stick for me, so now I'm gonna do the orange one, and then once again, I'm going to make sure this one goes straight up. Now let's go test this. If we go into the sim lab, let's make sure that it dangles like we expect. When I hit play, it is floating. If I hit it, instead of going right through it, I can make it so it swings. Only took me four tries. Let's reset, go back, and now let me show you the next part that makes this super cool. Control D, change your measurements to 24 and you've instantly got a ring inside. Pick a cooler color, and then we're going to spin this with an axle. Control D, move your axle close. Shift, select the two. L for a line, and we want the boss to be the pink one. Center, center, center. And then this one gets connected. We want the blue one to come out to our old blue part. We want the orange one to go to the inside. Now when we go test this, friends, are you ready for this? Play, and we can swing it. And if you hit the pink one, it actually orbits like that. We have just made a gyro spinner. It gets cooler, though. Reset, move back, and then carefully grab just the inside one and its connector. Do Control D, and then we need to rotate it right then 90 degrees so it's still in the center but it's going to rotate in a different direction now click on the pink one and this could be either of them and we're going to change the measurement of this one to 16 and press enter so now it is inside we're going to hit the yellow we've got two different axles a cool thing is because we had already connected that axle it's already ready to use let's go to sim lab and test it out if we hit play, bingo, that one spins that way, and the other one spins the other way. How fun is that? Friends, almost instant spinners, and you can make them epic and share them back with me in just a few minutes. Of course, you can explore your own shapes, and if you make something epic, you can share it with me. Don't forget, it is so simple. The first step I always do is to make the background a cooler color. I'm going to go with a custom blue out in here. I'm also going to cancel the grid so that looks cooler. Finally, simply move up here to the Tinkercad workspace. Click up on the properties. Notice in my description the tutorial's coming soon. Also, there's a link to check out the new HLMT 23 shares. Of course, give it some tags. And then if you ever do the HLMT 23 tag, I search that tag almost every day. And of course, when I see your cool project, I will give you a reaction. Finally, make your design public. 
prove you're not a robot. And then I always choose attribution, no derivatives, because instead of copying my work, I'd rather have you come up here, follow the tutorial, and gain some epic skills. Lastly, hit save changes. Friends, as I wrap up, I do want to take a moment to remind you about my website, hlmodtech.com. As you can tell, I've got a page dedicated to Tinkercad with tons of amazing lessons. Down below, you can find the day one favorites, the useful starters, and the Tinkercad essentials. Friends, below that, you'll find the sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. I do also need to highlight the link to the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, there are a boatload of members, and it is a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.